What's up guys, Matt here coming at you with another quick video. Today we're taking a look at some 110 scale trucks and this FuryTech Lizard 10 ESC. Super excited about this thing. This has came a long way. So I know I started testing these things probably at least a year ago, honestly. And you can see they kind of started out with just basically a 3D printed case and just the basics and then we kind of moved up to this system here and you'll see this is one of the motors they're going to be offering also i believe um so this is their outrunner motor and you can see the esc in this one uh you know it bumped up a little bit in look still the 3d printed case they put the heat sink in there and it's just gotten better and better and <clears throat> watching them put the work into this that they have is is crazy and you know going from this to this all the way down to this look at the size of this thing so it's pretty crazy so just knowing how much they've put into this to me it shows that they're not just like trying to rush something out there they they want to make a good product so uh it's really cool to see this thing finally come together i wanted to show this truck this is kind of my creek runner it's you can tell it's nasty i don't clean it often honestly i just run it it gets filthy and you can see like i've put this thing through it it's been through some messes and no issues with that esc so just wanted to show you that real quick this thing we are probably going to install this in here this is my g-shot i keep this one a little more clean usually i run this one a little more on just like solid rock not too much creek running with this one and man i love this this build honestly it will go anywhere and tackle anything so uh this is running capra axles one of the uh amazon transmissions honestly we've got the copperhead 10 esc in there and i've been pretty happy with that thing i haven't had any issues it's got a lot of uh tuning to it I've got the B-Link hooked to it, but look at the size difference right here. This is crazy. So that's unreal. Um, I'm just amazed at what they fit in here. So this thing can run two to four S it's 60 amp, hundred amp burst. Uh, it's not waterproof, but that's not a big deal for me. I don't submerge my stuff. And, uh, you know, it has the Bluetooth, which we have the dongle here, you guys can see. Um, I kind of liked when that was just internal, like it was just inside. Uh, we didn't have to worry about plugging it in or anything. Um, but it's nice that we can just remove that. Once it's tuned, we don't have to worry about it. Yeah, but I'm going to put this in the G-Shot because I feel like this is uh, a pretty good comparison against the uh, uh, Micro X. And that's what I have in my G-Speed there, the other truck with the hard body. So um, I'm going to put this in here, and then that way we can kind of run them side by side. And then also I wanted to show the size difference between these two because this uh, Copperhead was pretty popular. And you can see how huge it is. Now this Copperhead can be used for bashers as well, so I'm kind of thinking I may put the fan back in this and, and put it in something that's uh, a little bit more of a basher but um we'll see I, I like i said this is a pretty solid esc for crawling in my opinion i haven't had any issues with it all right guys so we're gonna fire this thing up for the first time I'm using our z4s pack love those z packs i'll link it in the description super cheap for what you get and i like those little bitty 850 packs so we're gonna open up the fury car app just Fury Tech. So it recognized it, joined up already. Uh, let's see how we are out of the the gate. Uh, pretty, pretty good slow crawl seems like. So this thing at full droop, it gets a little squirrely. <laughs> So it's 
All right, so we need to do a little adjustment because I prefer a, a little less run to get to a higher speed. If you watch the throttle, the travel here, it takes a long way before we really start getting much speed, which is not bad. All right, so let's try to calibrate the throttle. So set zero speed, not gonna hit anything. Set max speed, so full throttle. Max brake. Save it. And it says successfully calibrated. So I may adjust that throttle curve myself, but we can get into that later. I want to check drag brake, yeah, so it's on zero. You can see, I can tell I don't have like any drag brake. See how it just keeps going. And it has this locked brake feature. We'll show that when we start running it. That's really cool. So I pretty much want my drag brake to stop. Hold this thing as much as possible when I let off the throttle. So. We'll, we'll give it a little bit. Maybe not full on. Just in case we want to roll down a hill a little bit maybe. So that's something we'll kind of have to play with out in the field. This locked brake function is uh, looks pretty cool from what I've seen, and we will definitely show this on the rocks. But to me, it looks like basically this thing's not gonna roll when you turn this locked brake on. Yeah, you can really see how it locks up. So with the lock braked down, I mean, it's, it's hard to pull anyways because I've, But check this out, you put it on 100. Like, so that's cool. That's really gonna be good for holding yourself on the hill, but we're gonna test this out on the rocks. Just kinda wanted to show you guys a little bit of what we got going on here. Man, that is smooth though, all right. So a lot of this, it's best to play with on the rocks. You can change your throttle curve, I may mess with that a little bit. I might like that higher speed to come in just a little bit quicker, but man, this is so much smoother than that uh, Micro X I have in the G Speed because look, I mean, it's so easy to just barely move. And this is non-censored. I mean, this is... So let's uh, get it on the rocks and we'll check it out. So this thing has a six volt and an eight volt setting for the BEC um, to power the servo. So I'm running mine on eight volt and it had plenty of power for my servo, no issues there. This thing comes in about 120 bucks. So it's a little pricey, but 10 scale stuff is pricey. It just really is. So honestly, it's, it's right on par with everything else in the 10 scale game in my opinion. And it has a lot to offer. You can see this thing has tons of power on this door. It has, and it's so slick out today. Like right there, I just can't hit reverse how I want. It has a really slow reverse, but I want it just a little more. So I'm just gonna have to change the throttle curve a little. But that's really cool. We can do that in the app. No issues. And I can't see where I'm going here. So. So wet and muddy, it can't stay on the line anyway. Oh, 
After all, this has that same great Fury Tech feel we're used to with the is like really, really good. My throttle feels great. Now see this right here? Where we're kind of rolling back a little when I let off. If we go put that drag lock on, that should stop that. So let's test that real quick. Okay, now we have our lock brake function on, so let's watch it now. Still getting just a little bit. I'm surprised we don't have a full hold, honestly. Not sure why. Our drag brake is all the way on, and our lock brake is all the way on. Not sure why we're we're not getting that hold, but probably something to do with the gearing in here. But uh, honestly, I like a little rollback just for when you get in a spot. If you need to come back a hair, you can just kind of let off and let it go slowly. But I do not want it rolling back fast. What? So I'm really limited on what. I'm able to run today here. The water is up higher than usual. We had a pretty good rain the other day. So I'm trying to get a couple good clips and just get a feel for this. So I adjusted my throttle curve for reverse and got it feeling much better. And that's the cool thing, you know, I just pulled up the app on my phone and, and changed it to, to what I wanted. You know, you can do it in live time. So you can be driving the truck and doing it. Um, so it's pretty easy to dial in your settings how you want. Now, I need more drive time with this. I, I just really do. I was limited on what I could do here. A lot of our lines just, uh, I wasn't able to get to, you know, I'm slipping and sliding on slick rock and like almost killing myself. And just, it wasn't a great day at the creek, <laughs> to be honest. So we are definitely gonna get this out again soon, hopefully uh, down at, one of the uh, dam areas that I go to that has some some solid rock. Um, you guys, if you've seen my videos on Nolan Dam, we go there a lot. There's a lot of really good crawling that doesn't change. You know, it's a rock with like some blacktop mixed in and it's a really good place to test things like this and just get a feel for the throttle and stuff. So we would definitely get out with this again very soon, hopefully. All right, guys, so I kind of had a limited time with this thing. I was getting wet feet. <laughs> the water was up, and uh, so we're definitely going to get out with this some more, but this ESC is a really great option. It silences those whiny Outrunner motors. You can tell you don't hear the motor. You just hear my nasty, loud overdrive. <laughs> but uh, overall, this thing felt great. It's came so far since it started and it's it's definitely one of the best ESCs for the 10 scales now, no doubt. Um, I would really like to put this in my G-Speed and just get rid of that uh, Micro X that I got in there so I can run 4S on that truck. So maybe I'll swap them out, maybe I'll pick up another one. But you guys definitely give this a look if you're looking for a 10 scale ESC. I really appreciate everybody watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click the bell. Peace.